Can you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? Okay, okay. So there was some connection issue in the app. Okay, sure. Yeah, so this is the playlist. Uh, you can uh, forward or you can go back to the uh, previous sessions and look at it. Just uh, PMI policy has a have a PMI PCC Agile series playlist. Okay, and now we have eight sessions. This is the ninth, uh, ninth session. Uh, yeah, so today's topic is on project manager versus Scrum Master, and today's uh, our speaker is Ms. T. Uh, Fatima. She is an Agile coach and program manager, and uh, she has vast experience in the Agile world. She is currently working in Factset, and uh, both uh, in various methodologies, she has good uh, experience. And today she'll be talking on a very important topic uh, for us, especially for the project managers uh, who are working uh, as project managers and different different roles in the uh, organization. So we'll try to decode what is the difference between the project manager and the scrum master. And thank you, Fatima, for coming forward. Uh, I know it's very short time. Uh, you we have reached to you. But you gracefully accepted it and you are ready with your deck and topic in very short time. Once again, thank you and uh, I'll pass it on to you. Hi, everyone. Um, hope you can see me now and hope uh, good morning to everyone. Hope you all are good, doing good today morning. Yes, we, we can see you, man. Okay. Um, just a thought uh, that uh, a quick intro about myself. I'm working as a lead agile coach and as a program manager. However, I'm from Wells Fargo. Okay. And uh, my apologies. No, no, when I, that's all right. So, and thank you for joining all of us this uh, Saturday morning. I think uh, that has been. Um, a little challenging for all of us, but thank you very much for joining. Let me share my screen and let's get started. Are we waiting for anybody winner or? Uh... No, no, we are good. We are good. We can go we are ahead. Good? Okay. I'm sharing my screen. I've joined from my second device, but it doesn't show me the option to share. When I'm Give me a second. Okay. Is your second device Let me check. Yes, yeah, I'm making you a device. Try now. Yes, I can. Yeah, it's now giving me option to share. Yes, we can see you. You see the slides. You can see my screen, right? Yes, yes. You can put that it on uh, presentation mode. You can see the self meeting. I have put it on presentation. Oh, we can see the presentation with the text. Actually. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. Let me reshare. No. Yeah, no we can. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Yes, I hope um, 
you know, before we move on to the session, I hope you all are aware um, that about the basic uh, scrum concepts and a little bit of agile concepts. And um, you understand that, I hope, right? If you can type in yes or just speak to me, I would like to have a little interactive session. And that way, we both, uh, all of us can contribute and ask questions, right? I see a couple of uh, responses. Yeah, majority of them are here. Okay, awesome. So as you see, let's talk about uh, Scrum, what is a project manager and a Scrum master. And here I have added a couple of more slides towards the end. How do we transition from being a project manager to a Scrum master? You know, in my day-to-day -day life in the organizations I have worked with so far in my uh, 13 years of work career and core uh, concepts of agile, which I've been working from past several years of uh, eight, 10 years of experience. What I've seen is all the organizations are basically evolving. When I say organizations are evolving, all the organizations uh, want their uh, employees to step up the game, you know? So I have made this presentation from the perspective of how do we step up in our current role Okay, and move forward and transition into a new role as well. Not just uh, I'm not just speaking about the role of a complete role of a project manager or a scrum master. I'm also going to we are also towards the end going to talk about the transition. How can we take the transition? Who is going to be helpful and how it is going to be helpful? And also, if you know. Um, Agile is fairly a new concept. It is in the market from past. Uh, 10 to 15 years, at least Indian market has adapted to it from past 15 years. Before that, it was a vague concept. When Scrum and Agile was introduced, we were full fledged working in something called waterfall model where projects managers were absolutely needed. And when I'm saying a project manager versus or improvement or transition into the role, I am not saying that uh, project managers role is redundant or they're obsolete in the current organization. No, they have their own unique skill sets and which are uh, fairly important. In different spheres of managing work in the organization. So from that concept, let's move forward. So the current markers, what I have kept uh, for a better understanding and to go into the flow, what I've said uh, set as markers. Okay, so uh, how it is different. So when I'm saying how it is uh, different, typically Scrum is basically distributed accountability model. Okay, if you're getting a clear picture of what is Scrum or how we are doing Agile, if you're using the concept of Scrum and talking about Scrum Master, Scrum is a distributed accountability model. You know, everybody have a role to play. While in project management, as per my understanding, what I've totally seen is also to add, um, you know, I was also acting as a project uh, manager initially in my car career. I was doing a project coordinations role. I was uh, acting BA. I have worked as a tester. So from a uh, plethora of experience, what I have seen in the market and how I've gone through. It is my experience I'm sharing. So what I've seen is project management is a centralized accountability model for me. So that is the basic core, you know, marker where uh, the differentiation starts. So when we have a centralized authority model, everything is dependent on project manager. No go go or, you know, change management or adding anything to the scope, time analysis, or even including allotting work to people, right? In a, a project managers, one of the duty is who will be doing what, which team will be taking care of what. However, Scrum have many different roles, and the key roles are of Scrum Masters, product owner, and a development team. Having said that, these three form a core Scrum team. And when they form this core scrum team, accountability of each person differs. Okay, whereas uh, as I was saying, project manager is accountable totally for everything, right? And the product own product owner have a partial responsibility of owing the product what to get in when a, a certain feature or a functionality is required, 
and he works with other stakeholders to get scope cost and timing which is our iron triangle right all of us understand the iron triangle and it cannot be inverted when we invert it what are the circumstances two hands of iron triangle how do we balance so these two hands of iron triangles are balanced by a distributed accountability model in scrum that's the core difference between the role of a scrum master and a project owner or oh, sorry project manager right scrum master is a guardian of scrum as we all understand right scrum is a different uh, methodology and framework in itself when scrum is a different framework scrum master is the leading person who guards the processes he acts as enablers where which we are going to discuss in further however for me uh, the major difference between scrum and project management is distributed and centralized accountability model and you know also in scrum scrum is uh, based on very revolutionary uh, revolutionizing ideas okay it is very evolutionary and very revolutionary in nature and having said that it allows people to fail fast work fast since uh, in scrum people work in sprints and uh, we take small chunk of work and make sure that something is a mvp or you know potentially shippable product at the end of every two weeks and in scrum there are shorter feedback loops however in project management you have set of criteria right there is a planning phase there is a implementation phase there is a testing phase and if there is a change control board also is there in place right if we have to get in anything we plan way ahead so that we don't fail and hence uh, you know mindset of a project manager comes from a technicality of not failing making his or her project uh, delivered in the delivered uh, timeline time is also a very important part of that iron triangle right so in scrum we believe in having a shorter cycle so that everything is delivered to the market in within the span of two uh, two weeks or three weeks depending on your uh, sprint cycles and having that mindset basically is the key factor that is differentiating both role of a scrum master and a project owner and maybe uh, skill sets are very different also you know potentially if a practicing a project manager is there his his skill set might be properly way high in data analytics you know uh, understanding the patterns of uh, what is going on he can predict and uh, do risk analysis and plan for risk and these are like very good qualities for a manager and uh, those qualities are like four sided are very important qualities a highly um, excellent qualities i must say however scrum masters come from a point of view and a mindset of servant leadership being intentional how they can help people how they can remove impediment uh, i hope you you guys are getting what i'm trying to say it comes both mindsets of two different people differs right and another important point to note here is fail fast is a very important concept of agile as well as scrum we encourage people to try it out okay if it is not working it is not working just don't waste your time on that instead of trying to fix it and wasting your time okay so we develop constantly trying to develop develop hypothesis within the sp span of two weeks those are called spike user stories okay where we try to develop a hypothesis if it is working fine if it is not let's move on however in a typical project management cycle what we do we try to work it out in such a way that we don't get a opportunity to fail and at one point we also have a, a, a phase in project management of risk analysis where we try to jot down all the possible risk and in the case of possible risk what will be our mitigation plans what will be our backup how are we going to deal with the risk okay here we say go with the flow take the risk if it is risky if it is not working move on that's the concept of agile and scrum 
and that is a concept of how a uh, project management flows right and in certain industries having said that in certain in industries like uh, construction and many others project management is so mandated you cannot go with uh, so many uncertainties so if you are looking at typically at it or a couple of uh, new things in the market trying to get a product launch or trying to you know set a entrepreneurial um, a startup organization in that way scrum might be the right ideal concept to go with the market and as you all also see that these days market is fluctuating so much with especially uh, amazon coming into picture we all are looking for instant gratification you know amazon gave us uh, 24 hour de delivery next day delivery expedited okay if you're a prime member you might even get it by the evening if you ordered it in the morning that is the mentality of customers these days and especially when we are trying to offer our services or sell our product how we can improvise in that way scrum is uh, the concept which will is working in the market which is helping us to give what customers are asking in a shorter span of time you know going to the market fast there's any question so far or am i speaking too much okay so as i was saying fail fast model and do not fail i will not say do not fail but if you have a risk a risk have a mitigation plan in place so those are two different level of thinking right one level is parallel and another is optional you can actually expand your horizon if you fail you try to learn from your mistakes you know a couple of good scrum masters which i have worked with they try to advise or coach the team saying that maybe it might not work from their experience however they let them fail so that they understand that how much time effort energy uh, they have put in and how it got uh, wasted or was not working so people learn from their own um, okay i'm not my screen is on presentation so i'm not able to see the questions <clears throat> I'll come to it actually. I just saw one. So, in that way, we uh, allow people to learn from their mistakes. As you all know, it is a human nature, guys, right? Our parents have advised us, our grandparents have advised us, okay, do not do this, try that. However, have we ever taken their uh, word and gone by what they have said? We have explored our own options. And that's how people learn. Adult learning technique is unless they fall for it or seen something unless they have experienced it uh, people will not learn and that is the concept of scrum we allow people to fail and then learn so that is the two major concepts how a mindset of a project manager works and how the mindset of a scrum master works now we are trying to ask here are we same now okay are we doing very everything similar i agree to a certain point you know scrum master also reports uh, he also uh, motivates team members just like a project manager he tries to keep his uh, sprint you know backlog uh, sprint backlog in place and see that work is getting done he is also focused on getting the metrics right okay uh, and he is also seeing as a scrum master, one of his role is to interact with scrum uh, other stakeholders, just like project manager. And if there are any risk or impediments, how to solve it? Okay, however, now let's see, are they similar? So uh, scrum masters and project managers, basically, it is a term used to describe kind of uh, almost any kind of project okay and as all of us understand project is having a start date and a end date in place right and when it comes to scrum scrum is an ongoing process once a sprint is started unless and until uh, the product is done we do not close sprints so it is an ongoing process everything is we build is iterative and iterative okay everything is building on each other so that is again a major difference how it works also 
uh, project managers are responsible for scope, as I've already said, as a cost time and the iron triangle there, it is called iron triangle for a reason, right? As all of all of us understand that uh, three uh, levels of iron triangle can only be managed, but cannot be manipulated. So naturally project managers come from a tendency of command and control because they are wholly accounted for the project. They don't have diversified uh, responsibilities of roles. So that is the right approach and that's how they work. However, uh, when it comes to scrum masters, they are typically people leaders. Okay, they are enablers. They talk to a lot of people. They manage the scrum process and they bring agility in the entire organization. Right? So the leadership, two different leadership styles. I'm not saying that uh, one is good, one is bad. No, sometimes one is required. Sometimes other needs to take a soft corner, you know, take a back seat. However, two leadership styles are uh, different. So let's talk first about the roles and responsibilities of project manager. Then let us move to more about Scrum Master. Since these are agile series, I would like to you don't know, share a couple of uh, good pointers for all of you to start. So the roles of project manager, as we all understand, is uh, budget management. They have their budget is, uh, budgets in place. They commit to the work, right? What needs to be done and what is what are the requirements discussed and accepted for uh, the planning phase, right? They're reporting the progress of the project to stakeholders. Task allocation, okay? Task allocation is one of the biggest uh, um, criteria of project managers, right? Work breakdown structures which they have in place. Who is going to do what? What is the timeline? How it will be done? And managing the entire flow of planning phase, implementation phase, gathering requirement phase. That is how it flows, right? And risk management is a huge uh, world in itself, okay? There can be any possible risk. Every time, every second is a risk for the project if not taken properly. So risk management is another important uh, focus of a uh, project manager's role, right? Focusing on processes, right? They also set a couple of processes in place for the implementation. There is a different process for quality check. Uh, there is a different uh, monitoring and quality control have a different process in place so that everything is working fine before the delivery of the project. Prioritizing the project related features. What, what is important as if now? when it is going to be done when are we going to go from planning phase into implementation phase and what will be a key milestones these are the roles of project managers right they understand this and in depth day to day they work and ask for the reports from their uh, immediate colleagues or uh, or people working in their teams right accountability is very strong and if you also see it is also about uh, staying in control what is happening where as uh, there is a thought right in the market people say ki a proper project manager is wake him up at 2 a.m in the night he will know for where or what his uh, people are doing what is the measure of the project right so that is uh, the level of authenticity they work with and of course for doing all this they also need command and control attitude so that people are also showing uh, being responsible and accountable for what they are doing, right? Coordinating with other teams as and when required. So this is also a very important factor of removing impediments as we call it in Scrum, right? So let's now see, uh, come to coming to Scrum Masters. Guys, am I doing going too fast? Do you have uh, thoughts you want to share? Okay, great. Thank you. So uh, now let's question. Is uh, what is. Okay, not too fast. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now let's see is Scrum Master a role or is it a title? Okay, there's a lot of confusion. However, in my personal experience at one point in my career, you know, 
I was also a scrum master. So having played that role, I truly understand uh, what is the essence of it. Okay, I've uh, played a, a scrum master for more than five years now. And at any given opportunity from being going from coach's role, I sometimes assume the role of a scrum master when my uh, scrum masters are on leave or doing something else for my teams. So I'm very passionate about uh, being a scrum master because it's a very uh, multifaceted role, you know. So scrum master is basically a servant leader. Uh, so guys, do not hold me. I know new scrum guy doesn't have a, a word of scrum uh, servant leader as if now. However, the intent remains the same. Okay, earlier scrum guides uh, which were there with before the current revision, all of them use the intent of intent of servant leadership attitude and mindset in a scrum master. Okay, and uh, every scrum master have that attitude and once they start working with that, that's how they help people. So it's not more about uh, showing off what uh, I have done, what are my achievements. Scrum Master showcases the achievement of a team altogether. So he plays a different role at different given of times. Okay, he is a he can actually act as a leader. He is a leader definitely because he is a, not just a leader for the team. He is also a scrum leader. He is the enabler. He is the uh, scr uh, scrum uh, reformer. That's how he propagates scrum and how it is learned and perceived in the market, in the organization, right? So he guides product owner. He guides uh, the product, uh, the flow of uh, the sprint backlog. Okay, what is there? What is not there? What are the impediments? He also uh, guides developers as and when needed. Okay. So it is a very dicey situation to be in. People doesn't understand what is the role of Scrum Master and hence they get very confused. So the product owners uh, can also act as a fireman. OK, uh, when I say fireman, it is more like uh, there are small. Um, you know, dependency on somebody else's team and uh, my Scrum team as a Scrum Master, I'm waiting that when that de dependency will be um, completed so that my team can start the work, right? And uh, there is a fight. We, they have committed to some time else and I was expecting since I've taken that uh, item product backlog item in my sprint backlog. As you all know, sprint backlog is not changeable. What is committed remains committed. So my team is lagging and I have to do that firefighting for them sometimes, right? And I, as a scrum master, I will not take anything to the team so that their work, their flow of work get disturbed. So I'm in that way. I'm also protective about my team. You know, I also act as a protector. I shield my team from the external influences of anybody scolding them, asking them, no, can you work on this? Can you be a shared resource for me? I'm also a protector. I manage my team's time as well. Okay, I'm also a gardener. What is done? I manage plants, give them importance, you know, give all my team members uh, enough time and space if they're dealing with something I act as a coach. Okay, and then I give them a listening shoulder and I listen to the problems. I try to solve them and I talk to the management on their behalf so that their word is heard if they want a long break or something in that way. I'm a protector gardener and I'm a coach and a mentor also of a team, right? If somebody is facing something, Scrum master is your first point of contact and he is the person who will help you. He's typically an impediment remover and also plays all these roles. Okay. Okay. To add another uh, point here, these are different stances of a scrum master. Okay. So uh, in scrum, we say scrum master is not just a person doing performing one role. He is wearing multiple hats as and when required to take a stance for the team for sometimes for the entire organization also. There are senior scrum masters and super senior scrum masters. They still like to work as scrum masters and they work so closely with the team. Okay, so basically he sometimes take uh, a stance. Stances you understand, right? 
standing up for something and uh, doing that okay and just being in that role so one of the stances of scrum master is impediment remover okay that's generally in every uh, daily stand up he does that day to day in his um, activities and in his work day he continuously does that right he predicts okay this can be a possibility that uh, if that uh, dependency is not resolved i cannot take that work is my backlog groomed is product owner actually grooming the backlog in place is my team asking the right questions he acts as a facilitator right also as a facilitator i must say not just as a facilitator also as a facilitator as and when required okay he takes every there is one very good pro, you know saying in scrum from lisa atkins she says um, for everything when in uh, in doubt take it to the team that's a quote so for everything he builds consensus okay as i was saying it is a um, distributed responsibility in scrum so it is very important that the entire team is feeling inclusive and getting a chance to speak or one person is introvert or being quiet and not getting chance to share his ideas and views you know that is not how it works at that time scrum master also acts as a coach and scrum master also acts as a teacher in places where he wants to teach a team something okay a new project a process flow or if he has got something uh, someone uh, smes from outside and trying to deliver something you know he also acts as a teacher at sometimes he also just acts as a teacher asking you to you know be more accountable for the work you are doing participate more in the team meetings right scrum events so he all he is basically a servant leader okay few of the good scrum masters i have seen is uh, during the uh, you know period of release these scrum masters are even if they're not working on technical part they stay back with their team till 2 3 in the midnight just to be there for the support i hope uh, you all are getting the point right it is not required to be um just do technical work or be there being there is also very important right if your scrum master is around he chats around makes jokes refreshes and energizes people as and when required so that support is also sometimes very important if someone is working right so he is a servant leader true servant leader basically and he also acts as a team manager okay if you are filling out report my jira ticket is not yet complete okay um and uh, a rally if you guys are a few of them have, of if you are working on rally he also keeps tracks okay um in a very subtle way it it is not uh, keeping track as in what you are doing or doing micro managing it is more about just keeping the track of the project how far are we from our sprint goal or how near are we from our sprint goal are the stories being closed he keeps tracks of all this okay and he generally also keeps tracks of the capacity that in that way he also protects you typically if somebody is going on leave or is not available for 2 uh, 3 days during the sprint he keeps track of it and will take the limited amount of work so that it can be completed right and he is definitely a change agent he brings in new concepts new ideas to the team and in the organization us telling what is scrum what are scrum values and how they can stick to it and give the team free hand to work and scrum master will never tell you what to work on he will definitely ask you what you want to work on okay what are your interested areas and he also acts as mentor that's a yoda's picture right we all um, know uh, how yoda is uh, from star wars right so if required he also acts as mentors as we all go through up and downs in life if there is somebody who can actually listen to you if not anything listening is also a very key skill right if somebody is willing to listen to you that itself is a game changer okay so here are the responsibilities come roles okay this was his nature which this is the nature of a scrum master's mindset it's a nature characteristics this is our or all uh, also characteristics 
here is also nature and characteristics to a level and how he has been a servant leader okay now let's see what are the key roles he plays okay one of the key role is definitely helps team to removing obstacles and impediments right a uh, scrum is all about improvising remove the impediments inspect and adapt scrum continuously keeps talking about inspect and adapt so in the same way here scrum master keeps tracks of impediments and obstacles and try to see how it can be removed right daily scrum is one of the shortest possible example of removing impediments okay guides the product owner actually he guides the product owner he guides uh, the development team and the organization in general to say that how a scrum process needs to be followed so one of his duty is also guiding product owner and development team he definitely uh, facilitates all the scrum events i must say okay few once the team starts uh, he also helps teams to self organize right self organization is a very important concept of agile on each day a scrum master pushes the team so that they can self organize too right helps teams to speed up the process okay when we say it is speeding up the process by removing impediments it is not uh, speeding up the process by cutting edges do not do that no it is uh, here we are talking about how he can help as a scrum master so that your work is uh, smoother okay what is monitors the sprint progress uh, when we say sprint progress sprint has a goal so are uh, how closer are we to the sprint goal are we able to achieve it is there something lacking or is there an open um, you know story in the sprint from a long time what is the impediment or a challenge is, uh, challenge a person is uh, facing if that story is with a certain developer he will go back to them and ask them it is more of a servant leadership role very intuitive by nature you know might be i haven't heard uh, uh, from my team member uh, z from a very long time and i've been waiting so i haven't heard him here from him since morning so as a scrum master i will ping him and ask how have you been okay so that is the role of a scrum team and eventually scrum team gathers together and establishes that bond motivates the team basically uh, when in uh, sometimes it happens right sprint overflows and certain things we uh, as team members scrum team members we were not able to deliver in spite of committing so in situations like that how is he handling the situation is he scolding the team no scrum master will never does it okay scrum master will either motivate it and in the retrospective discuss what have gone wrong okay what can be done further better instead of scolding them or holding them accountable saying that it was your problem that blame games will not come from scrum masters and of course he binds the team together he will have a lot of uh, his own activities or you know uh, small things which uh, team does it together so that they can stay together right uh, it is as silly as um, having potluck lunch with the team together or taking team out for lunches or just having a fun talk about a good movie so it is all team building activity scrum master does it and he doesn't do it for the sake of doing it he also enjoys spending time with his people as i'm sure you must um, must have met a few of the scrum masters you know few of the best i have met i have learned all these things from them so it has been an uh, amazing experience okay i have met some lousy one somebody is saying i have met few good ones too you know that intent is very important and the nature of a person as we say right characteristic and nature of a person uh, how he is so if he is a truly a servant leader he will understand all this it is a very subtle uh, intuitive role so that mindset is very important so at least when i interview people for the role of scrum masters uh, these days i look for uh, that quality of uh, you know um, niceness and how to get the team together so in if it is he or she is a good person he will or she will become a good scrum master too and okay i will talk about this further however let me add it here 
it is a learnable skill guys okay we all are humans we have our own capacity to be nice okay we have always work been in communities we have our own community sections families uh classroom sections okay school organizations these all are our communities right and in communities being human we have a tendency of being nice okay understanding others so when we have this tendency if we are willing to use it that's how the transition of scrum master can happen and i strongly believe that uh, every skill is learnable there is nothing uh, rocket science and humans are humans right we have also learned and mastered rocket science so i think it can be developed however you need to give it a little more practice um i cannot ask a bird um, to swim right or stay and however being humans we can stay on land as well as water and hence we can learn so that is my perspective uh, what do you guys feel so it's a learnable skill any thoughts there yes it's a learnable skill definitely it's, yes if we practice we will eventually learn it right Yes, thank you, Satya. So, as you see, let's see the roles and responsibility. Mentally strong and can okay. That uh, thing went off. Yeah, as long as one is mentally strong and can steer the conversation. Because actually, um. You will eventually learn it. Once you learn it, you will automatically become strong. Okay. And that uh, conversation practice, the more you practice, it is there. Right. Okay, Raghubir, I will come to your question. It's an interesting question. PM or any one of Scrum team members can play a Scrum role. Sunil, I will also come there. Ideally, Sunil, just to uh, let you know, initially, if the team is new, okay, uh, Sunil's question here is PM or anyone of Scrum team members can play the Scrum role. Okay. Uh, I will say if the team is new as a coach, I'm talking about as being an agile centric coach, I feel that it is very important if the team is new, there should be a set Scrum master who understands Scrum and has been practicing, even if he is uh, not really practicing. You know, not have got enough experience, but understand Scrum. He will push the team in the right direction. Or if you're going to switch uh, the Scrum, Scrum Master's roles to each and in individual developer sometimes, BA sometimes, to a tester sometimes, it is going to be difficult. You will not see a progress that needs to be made. And as we all uh, know, right, Agile is a mindset change. It is not a change of skills. It is not a change of external environment or it is not an organization change. Scrum Master and Scrum and Agile is a totally paradigm shift. What we used to do, we all understand paradigms, right? What we used to do and how we have come to a new paradigm at all, or uh, to paradigm, a new paradigm altogether. So that's the level of uh, uh, authenticity, that is the level of uh, conve convention is required from a Scrum Master's role. <clears throat> So I will not suggest key that you should change. However, people change uh, Scrum Master's roles to different people. It is uh, not very useful. Okay, the progress of the product will get delayed. So I will not suggest that, to be honest. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I hope Sunil, I answered your question, right? Okay. Moving on to, let's see the rules and placements, how it goes, okay? 
So as you see project management activities, integration scope, time, cost, quality, team, communication, procurement. I uh, we established it earlier, right? Scrum uh, is a distributed role-wise structure. When we say distributed role-wise structure, we have product owner, scrum master, and development team, and other managers, right? So everything is distributed. Integration, management of scope at, at macro levels, right? Cost, time, quality. Here is product owner does it all. What is the role of scrum master this is uh, what scrum master does it okay scrum master does uh, even more things however those are all very subtle and subjective things right human psychology which we cannot measure so really i um, as we are looking at the slide we might feel that we are seeing only very few things for a scrum master's role but it is much more detailed role Okay, development team, of course, they do sprint level activities, stories, estimation, and uh, quality checks of the work they have done. Okay, UATs also they do it, right? And uh, they also communicate in timely manner. Okay, this is uh, other managers, any other external dependent uh, teams also, we look at it that way. However, um, my entire idea of using this slide was to show that what Scrum Master does is not uh, something that is tangible, okay, which cannot uh, be measured in uh, proper numbers. However, that progress can be seen and felt organically in the organization in the span of less than three to four weeks. Once there is a dedicated Scrum Master for a team, you will see them improving by default in less than two sprints. I can guarantee you that at least, okay? So the idea of sharing the slide was to show that it a uh, lot of people have this anti-patterns and misconceptions that what does a Scrum Master do? He doesn't even have a role properly. How is he adding value to my team, to my organization? So guys, uh, they add value in a very subtle way and that's how we progress. And that uh, is more of that uh, result is seen and felt. Okay, rather than measured. However, there is agile maturity that really measures uh, the goal of uh, what, uh, how the team has matured, right? Okay, I think I should also add this point. Um, I'm sure you all might be aware, but then uh, for the interest of uh, crowd here, um, in a scrum team, it is not uh, the progress of a scrum master, product owner, or a development A, or a development person B. It is the entire team, okay? In scrum, the what uh, appraisal of a team uh, is done, not uh, just individually, but as a team, okay? And nobody is uh, held responsible on individual level. It is as a team, have you achieved? As a team, have you not worked? Okay, it is no one person game. It is a team. Once it is a scrum team, it is a scrum team. Okay, guys, I hope uh, I just wanted to add it because I see a lot of people, uh, you know, struggling with it. Even within the team, they keep saying, um, I don't, no, 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 I want to do more story points. I want to do this. I only want to do this. I will not help my uh, other team member. In spite of Scrum Master coaching you that you are a team, you are to work together, they don't understand. So I just thought of uh, sharing it with you. Okay. So in general, this is the organization structure, right? Um, how it goes. This is the entire stick, um, a scrum team. Okay, when I'm moving my mouse, can it, is it visible? Yes, yes. Okay. And um, this is the project sponsor, okay, or a business owner. Typically in um, Agile and Scrum, we call him uh, him or her as a business owner, okay. He's a LOB owner, line of business owner, or a complete um, department owner or a functionality owner. And then he will have multiple stakeholders, and there is also project managers there. 
it is not uh, that project managers role is completely redundant okay program managers and project managers are there who will also help multiple teams in uh, understanding what the project is going on okay so each role is important i just wanted to share it as an afterthought here so let's see okay we are uh, almost towards the end of our time i have spoken too much to whom scrum master reports to um it depends actually however uh, there are uh, people managers there scrum master reports to them or sometimes in a startup organization scrum masters actually report directly to uh, the ceo or the vps of the company because they bring in the real thing what is happening at ground level so generally scrum masters are aligned to uh, vps directly and there are also managers in between they can be uh, they are not termed as typical uh, project managers but they are more people centric managers again or a senior scrum master it depends from organization to organization also how they have structured it okay guys um, yeah. Right? yeah thank you okay let's uh, see how do we transition okay people are looking to transition uh -huh from project manager's role to scrum master's role. Let's see how do we go there. So moving from one role to another. One very important uh, thing guys for all of you um, will be, Ravi, I'll come to your questions. Are we saying what project? Okay, I'll just come back to there. Uh, let's see there, moving from one role to another. If you're a project manager looking to become a scrum master, the major step is of course, reading scrum guide, okay? and undertaking any one of the scrum professional courses that will be super helpful to understand the mindset as uh, as you know mindset cannot be just shifted from one place to another in a bit of time so it takes some time so if you're looking at it uh, that way it is always a good idea to go for uh, one of the professional scrum master courses and uh, practice 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 of course okay and reading scrum guide and resources for scrum masters on various websites they are uh, scrum orgs and others and of course dad a course of um, you know uh, pmi is basically very good i am also a pmi acp certified so i found it like a game changer for me when i studied pmi acp to be honest it is tough no doubt it's pretty tough but then it is a game changer sorry about that so it is a game changer because it drills down into you the entire concepts of what uh, Agile is like. So you might just at least want to start because as you know, all the PMI courses takes time. You need at least preparation, um, preparation of six to eight months. So start reading it. You will eventually get there and try to practice it. Of course, you know, in the forums, meetups, the meetups which you have joined today, just like PMI series join more of these meetings you will learn from people and also network with them a ask questions so in that way you will learn okay so that is my these are my advices i don't know you might be doing something else is also working that is fair enough right reading i haven't written reading you can also read right okay i'm just showing this slide again you know to conclude as you see in the scrum masters row there are hardly any things, right? However, at the end, battle of both Scrum Master and project managers boils down to adaptability and predictability. How quickly are we able to adapt and how quickly are we able to predict, right? Setting the context. Both are the roles with two different approaches, right? The approach we take, that is more important. However, both the roles are very important, skillful, competent people are required. However, the skills are different, little different, right? Mindsets are little different. So uh, both uh, needs to be taken care of. Um, just remember, you know, shared accountability and single accountability. That is uh, the key difference here. And as uh, the table, as we saw it here, it is clear that what Scrum Master does it mo is more about a subjective nature rather than 
uh, data driven points or that can be showcased in a data. Right and uh, pro what project manager does is more about data driven points also, right? Okay. Okay, I've saved uh, four minutes. Let's go to questions. I think okay. yeah, that mm -hmm. was a very, uh, very interactive session, Fatima, and you 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 put it very clearly on project manager and scrum master. That's actually a very hot topic in project management world as well. And then mm -hmm. uh, questions questions itself uh, speaks hey, how people are uh, you know um, uh, eager to learn what is the difference and. Uh, and you rightly co you know, collected the information and projected to the audience. And yeah, I think we can take a couple of questions. We are short of time. Uh, yeah. Maybe if you can uh, pass on your LinkedIn profile uh, here, people can reach out to you and they can ask the questions directly. If that is okay. And uh, sure. yeah. Okay. So one question. Mm -hmm. If you want to take any one question, you can yeah go ahead. Or you want me to give any question? Okay. Uh, I have taken the question to whom Scrum Masters reports to, and um, is there a limit uh, to number of SMs in any project, guys? Uh, one, uh, Ravi, that will now no longer be a project these days. Okay, it will be a product. So project is something have a end date and a start date, right? So as I was saying, Scrum or Scrum Master process will be ongoing process. So they can be number multiple uh, SMs in one uh, product. Okay, team one, team two, team three, doing different different features of the same uh, product. However, uh, one scr one senior Scrum Master can also be there at the top of all of them, so that he can coordinate which team is doing what and what is happening. Right? Those are generally called as RTEs or uh, Scrum of Scrum uh, Scrum Masters. Right? Okay. Are I hope I answered that right, Ravi. Okay, are we saying? Okay, thank you. Are we saying we both have a project manager and scrum master for a project? Yes, sometimes uh, we have both, you know. Uh, at uh, as I was saying, senior scrum masters managing couple of teams and merging it together. Here they can be a program manager or a project manager too. It's not that they will not have it. Uh, the role is completely gone. No, they also have it. However, again, these guys are also more aligned into um, agile and scrum values. So they understand what they are doing. They can no longer be in the. You know, um, command and control state. They are very toned down. They know how to talk. What is happening? They understand story points. They uh, cannot ask people. Can you do the work? Uh, you should be doing this. It is more like, can you try doing it? Let me help. Or do you want help? So that uh, also happens. So generally, coaches come into picture where uh, uh, we coach project managers to adapt to the role of Scrum Masters and come to the mindset of agility. Okay. How different is change management, change required process between these roles? Guys, agile is agile. We adapt on daily basis. So there is no process in agile of. Uh, Request change management. I understand what you're saying there. So that process itself is not there. So we can uh, change our. Uh, product backlog according to the priority of the product owner. OK, so there is not, nothing of change request there. We can adapt basically. It's just that we don't change sprint backlog. Once sprint is started, we don't change it. We try our best not to change. <clears throat> All right, uh, I think yeah, we are on time. Uh, as I said, uh, for more questions, you can contact uh, Fatima. Uh, yeah, one question I, I would like to take on uh, ACP, DSM, and DSSM. Sorry, DSS, SM, and DSSM. So there is a very hardcore difference between PMA, ACP. PMA, ACP, as Fatima was rightly mentioning earlier. This very solid foundation for an agile yeah. practitioner uh, who, who wants to know about uh, all frameworks. They will not get onto detail for every framework, 
but definitely the gist of every framework like scrum safe lean yeah. kanban everything they will cover csdm and you know spotify all all other things and i can discipline agile uh, the uh, dasm and dssm dasm is a discipline agile scrum master who is a budding scrum master who want to learn about scrum master role and uh, apply the principles of discipline agile and discipline agile senior scrum master dssm is little bit of senior role where uh, how to tackle leadership how to tackle agility at the organizational level little bit of uh, this course okay and and myself i am a pma scp and uh, discipline agile uh, senior scrum master certified if you have any questions please you uh, know reach out to me guys i can help you and uh, yeah so uh, thank you fatima for coming forward and that was really great information i would say and i have seen most of the questions uh, coming especially that itself indicates you know there are questions on project manager and scrum master role and you clearly uh, projected that information thank you very much and within short time you have responded and you, you have come up with great content uh, once again uh, thank you very much from pma pcc board uh, and uh, chapter and great thank you very much guys uh, thank you very much vinay for the uh, all the help i will uh, share my linkedin id guys please add me and if you have any questions i'm very passionate and i really take time uh to people yeah. who have uh, written to me so uh, please go ahead and reach out to me if you have any questions i might take little time but i do re re respond in less than 24 hours yeah, super. okay yeah, here is my profile thank you fatima thank you that really helps i do see people have a lot of questions they might uh, have a next level of questions which is right platform and linkedin to connect and discuss Okay, thank you very much once yes. again. So, uh, team, here is a small announcement on Agile conference. I was uh, right now. I'm in Tihub. I'm coming. I came here to set up the logistics and all. So, which is we have good new brand facility in Tihub. So, uh, let's meet on 21st. Uh, the timing is from 10 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. And we have started registrations. This is an in-person. We have limited capacity here. Uh, 1250 is a very minimal fees when compared to other Agile conferences. in our uh, world and the non mo pma members 1500 an online form to you can register this uh, can the qr and you can register for the uh, conference and don't forget about the uh, conference theme is sustaining business agility it is very core uh, topic in the agile world uh, we will have set up speakers uh, decoding uh, their uh, you know inputs on let me show the speakers yeah we have you know very good of line of speakers set up sairam dev uh, dev will be talking virtually for krishna uh, murthy pammi uh, sanyal krishna joshi nagini and deepthi we will be sending out this information description to all the participants okay all the members and uh, yeah we are coming up to uh, pma uh, workshops PMP workshop is already uh, kicked off January uh, kick, uh, workshop and February four five eleven twelve and ACP workshop is on February four five eleven and discipline as a senior scrum master workshop is from Jan seventeen to twenty. Please do reach out to us if you have any uh, questions or if you want to help with registration, please do reach out to us. And as always, we communicate. We, you will be getting one PDU credited for attending this session since you have uh, registered. Uh, you will be auto credited. uh let's wait for a you know, week and then if you don't get the credit please do reach out to us via telegram or whatsapp or whatever uh, means you you would like to reach to us and yeah once again thank you everybody for joining on saturday morning and next week we will be not having the session but uh, uh that next week on jan 21st let's meet in uh, the hub it's a very good opportunity to meet agile coaches and scrum masters and the uh, no next level leadership uh, ctos to you know uh, meet uh, see in person is always a different uh, when we you know talk in virtual so let's meet and you know uh, learn about rajel and hear from the, the leaders and any questions or any help with registration please do reach out to me this is my contact number and uh, yeah see you soon and thank you once again fatima for taking for time and you know uh, giving us your uh, uh, perspectives on the role project manager versus scrum master hope to uh, know meet you again 
with another topic maybe we'll be starting our agile series in the next uh, 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 or coming month february or march thank you once again have a good day too. thank you vinay thank you everyone have a good evening and weekend bye thank you thank you bye 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 bye